Hello there friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we're going to be spending some time using some brand new Spellbinders products. They all go around like besties with bracelets and I am so excited for the three cards that I make. This first product that I'm sharing with you is called the Bestie Heart in Hand. These are two hands and that heart and those hands are quite big so they take up the full front pretty much of an A2 size card or even a 5x7. Uh, this next one is the Bestie beaded bracelets and so it has three different bracelets in there um, one that goes all the way around the wrist and two that are a little bit different and then you have all those elements that you can have fun mixing and max matching up your bracelets to make different uh, charms on there and so I think that's super fun I have bracelets I have charm bracelets and so this one really spoke to me um, I really really love these sets and so I'm so excited for all these products together the next one that we have is the Heart Hands, and I really like this one. You could use them separate or together. I like them together, mostly just because it makes a heart when you put those hands together. And then you have some little bracelets, and once again, I bring, I'm gonna bring in those uh, Bestie beaded bracelet bits to go with that. Boy, that's a lot of alliteration there, <laughs> all the bees. Uh, but that's a really sweet set right there. And then we have a couple of Better Press plates. We have the uh, Better Press Bestie Alphabet Beads, and there's a die to go along with that. And then we also have the Better Press Bestie Sentiments, and that has the, the plate and the dies as well. Now, if you're not into that, there is the Bestie Alphabet Beads and Sentiments, and it does have the die that will cut out the um the alphabet but not the sentiments themselves so you have lots of options here if you don't have a better press you can absolutely just get the stamps and go that way um, but i do love the better press because of the letter press look to it all right so we're going to get into making three different cards and i use two uh, different color cube color blocks for these two color two color palettes and so I've pulled out my cardstock for each of those and I'm going to make one card using that green pink orange purple black combo and two for the other so let's get started on that first one I want to bring in um, this Spellbinders 3D embossing plate and the, or embossing folder and this is the Amaryllis 3D embossing folder it's so pretty and it makes a really gorgeous background. I did it on some of that pink cardstock as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna decorate that background a little bit more, but I wanna cut out the shadow of the hands and I'm cutting that right out of the center of this black piece of cardstock. Now you might be thinking that's a waste, but I want that to back my pink piece and so it works perfect. I'm gonna cut some more, or the hands themselves, out of some blush cardstock and then I'm going to start doing some die cutting with all the other pieces with all those colors of cardstock that you see there. So we have some green, we have some pink, we have some purple, we even have some orange and I'm going to try and bring most of those in. So um, well all those, all those colors in. And so I'll just start doing some die cutting. I'm using my Scout for this. I'm also using my you know, my regular Platinum 6. I love my Scout, especially for little dies like this. It works out perfectly. So let's decorate that background. I'm using a blending brush with a little bit of white, like pigment ink on it. I'm eventually going to just decide to bring in the ink pad and lightly brush that across the top of our cardstock. Now, since this is pigment ink, it is going to stay wet for a second. So once I get the look I'm looking for, like what I want, I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. It will dry back just a tiny bit because it is white and I didn't put any embossing powder over the top of it. But we're gonna go ahead and clean up our mess and then hit this with our heat tool so we can make sure that that is nice and dry. All right, now that it is, we're gonna glue our hands onto their silhouette back there, the shadow piece. And so I'm just using my liquid glue. The hands by themselves don't look good unless you have it on that silhouette, so they're really cool. And then there is a little pinky piece, so try not to lose that. I'm going to use my pickup stick to find my little pinky piece. There's two of them because you need one for each one. And when I find the right one, I'll be able to put that one right on there. And the next hand is basically the same. So obviously you can do this with the a rainbow of colors for, you know, humanity is a rainbow of colors. So think of the friend you want to make this for and pick out that color. 
All right, so look at that. Together, they can make a little heart. Obviously, like I said, you can use them separate, but they make a heart when you put them together, and I love that. We're going to make the bracelet. So there is, again, a shadow piece. I also cut some purple uh, beads. It's like the string of beads. We're going to use our reverse tweezers and that liquid glue, and we can attach those down to the shadow piece. And we'll do that for the other one as well. I decided for both of these hands... I was going to um, make the bracelets the same. The reason for that is because I'm kind of considering it like not the same hands or from the same person, but these are hands from two separate friends. That's how I'm looking at it. And they each have the same bracelet because I have that with a couple of friends of mine. So um, same bracelets and we could put our hands together and make the little heart. I know, a little cheesy, but I love it. I think it's cute. And this brings me back to like my teenage years, my preteen, teenage years, junior high, where, you know, you made bracelets for a friend. And my daughter used to do that too. So super fun. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just do it reverse, putting the green beads in there and then one little orange flower. So it shows off the purple, shows off the green and the orange from that color cube. And then we can start doing some assembly. So I'll just put some liquid glue all over the back of our pink cardstock. And we can attach that down to our black piece. That's going to tie everything together since we have shadows for everything else. I feel like that just really makes all these colors really pop. And it's perfect because the color cube card that I picked does have black on there. All right, now we can design how we want to put our hands on there. I'm not actually going to attach them yet because I'm waiting. I need to make the sentiments. I need to get all the sentiments ready to go. So we'll set that off to the side after we attach it to our card base because I do know that that needs to happen. And that card base is just an A2 size card base. It measures four and a half by five or four and a quarter by five and a half inches all, all closed up. So you'd take a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece and score it at four and a quarter. So these are the plates I'm going to use, and I am going to, you know, do them both. I'll show you the, it's the same process for both of them, but I'm putting down the alphabets from that first one, the Better Press Bestie alphabet beads. I'm going to ink those up with that Better Press black ink after we tape down our piece of cardstock to our plate, our uh, clear plate, and then we'll ink those up. Kind of twisting as I go. And then we can put our plate over the top of that and run that through our die cutting machine. Now I can peel that back and take a look. We have this beautiful letterpress alphabets and we can die cut those here in a little bit. I am going to move on to cleaning up and then I will get the other sentiments ready to go. So it'll be the same process for all of those. We'll tack down um, the top of that with some mint tape and then here we are getting the next sentiments ready to go and same process we'll pull out the dies to go along with that and tack that down with some mint tape and then run both of those through our die cutting machine and set those aside to make our three cards as you can see i put all of those pieces into a little tidy tray and now i can assemble this first card so i've decided what sentiment i want and now because this is a 3D background, you know, 3D embossing folder background, I am going to use liquid glue, but I'm going to put a stamp block on top of it to make sure that it adheres the where it's supposed to. I like that. You see the best in me. A lot of options for how you can put that together. And I highly suggest if you do get these sets, or if you're interested in these sets at all, head over to the Spellbinders shop. There's a whole gallery of um, images that you can take a look at. Ideas for cards. So there's the stamp, stamp block. We'll put our sentiment down and then we can glue down our little bracelets on the wrists. Ah, it just makes me happy. I love bracelets. Anybody who knows me knows I love bracelets. So love it. Okay, and then we can move on to making our other two cards now that this one is done. 
And like I said, I'm going to use this color cube card for these two. And so I'm taking both of the hands from our bestie heart in hand, and I die cut those out, and then I'm bringing in my scout to die, die cut out the rest of the pieces, whether it be the bracelets or the beads or any of the rest of it. And I'm using all those colors from that color cube card. This was, this was so much fun, and I actually have quite a few pieces left over, so I can make other cards down the line. Lots of letters as well. I do like that these plates and the sentiments that you stamp out, um, or the, you know, the beads, the alphabet, there's more than one letter for each one of those, so, which is helpful because, yeah. I'm going to take my Olo markers and just add a little bit of shadowing and shading to the hands to make them look or at least have a little more depth to them. I'll do that to both of them. And then as you can see, we do have some craft card stock up there that I'm going to cut down to make for card panels. Using some liquid glue to adhere down the base for the bracelet. And then we're going to attach the little heart in between her fingers. And then we can attach this down to the front of the card. You could use some foam tape here if you really wanted to. I decide not to, just because that bracelet is a little bit thin. That might make it a little more difficult for me, or anybody really. But uh, So I'll just glue everything down to the front of the card. And then I'll get my card base ready. Again, those are A2 size card bases, so they were five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. And I can attach this panel down to that base, leaving a nice white border all the way around. My other card only has the white showing on the left and right hand side. Once again, it's also an A2 size card. And I'll just add a little bit of depth to the heart with a pink alcohol marker. And then we can start pulling out the little beads and pieces that we need to make our sentiments. This one's going to say besties. The other one is going to say, I love you, mom. And I think these are wonderful. I love how these turned out. I even put a little bit of, you know, sparkle on the background by drawing some little stars in. Um, but here they are. And these were so much fun to make. Think of the color combos and the different sentiments you could put on there. You could even match and make a name. But if you like these cards, please hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Thanks for stopping by.